Hi. I know you don't usually get to see me, but that's mostly because I always look like this. Um, my hair is always not done. I never wear makeup. I'm always wearing ratty clothes. You know, most days I don't even wear a bra, people. Okay. This has been happening since March um, of last year because of the amazing pandemic. Um, I, not to say that I ran around wearing a bra all the time before that, because I certainly did not. Um, but I, I have something, it's kind of a special video for you. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to show you how I turn costume or heirloom jewelry. I don't know about heirloom jewelry. Jewelry that, okay, costume jewelry, junk jewelry. Um, you know, maybe when your grandma died, you know, your aunts were like, here's a bag of her jewelry. Uh, we thought you might like it. Um, so it's probably not really your style, right? Um, a lot of brooches, uh, earrings that are in golds and you wear silver uh, or the other way around. I certainly did not come up with this, um, what I'm going to show you, but I have perfected it and uh, people pay me to take their junk jewelry, their costume jewelry, their family's costume jewelry, their mom's costume jewelry, and turn it into something that's wearable that you know, maybe you can hand down to your kids. So, uh, as always, I'll be winging this video. I plan nothing out, so I make no promises. Okay? Um, I do have everything laid out. So, I'm going to grab myself my hot tea. And then I'm going to show you what you should do to make a uh, heirloom charm bracelet today. Okay? All right. See you in a minute. All right. So I want to go over a couple things. First of all, this is the jewelry that I have here was my mom's. Um, she passed away about a year and a half ago uh, suddenly. And... Um, she was a big costume jewelry gal. Um, she was, didn't have a lot of expensive jewelry. The, the stuff that was worth anything we, you know, left at my dad's house. And, um, but she had all this neat stuff. Um, I made my sister and I <clears throat> a, um, bib necklace. Uh, there I think are his videos, uh, or a video on my page, showing how I do my bib necklaces. So you could do a bib necklace with some, with some costume, inherited costume jewelry if you wanted. Um, or you could do this charm bracelet that I'm going to show you. The stuff that I have is literally like, this is like odds and ends stuff. Okay. This is the kind of stuff that you would probably get, uh, you know, inherit from someone. Um, pairs of earrings like this. Um, see if I'm even in the middle. I'm not. Pairs of earrings. Look, this one's broken, but that's okay. We can work with that. You know, another pair of um, little earrings. Um, uh, a brooch. It's a sewing machine. My mom was a big sewer. Um, <clears throat> butterfly pen. Uh, you know, a little Bow amethyst charm, <clears throat> another pair of earrings. Um, these I believe went together like this, and I think there might have been some in the middle. I feel like it might have just gotten broken, um, but I don't mind. I'm gonna, you know, I can use them Ooh, like this. Um, one earring. Okay. This stuff does not have to be fabulous to make it fabulous. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have a soapy water, warm water, a toothbrush, 
in a clean water and a towel. I'm just going to quickly go through and clean all this and dry it off. Uh, that way it is clean and, and ready to go. Then we're going to move on to prepping the pieces to be hung on a, a bracelet. Okay, so I'll be right back with some clean pieces. We're back and are we back? Yes, my timer's running. So I cleaned all my pieces um, and now we're going to prep them and get them on my chain. Um, what would be really nice is if you had a piece of a necklace or an old bracelet chain from your loved one and you could reuse that as your bracelet. Um, I didn't have one where the links were large enough to hold charms so um so I made this one it's got a lobster clasp on one end and my large jump ring on the other so I'm making this for my niece my niece is only eight okay so uh I I'm going to it's it's gonna be a size seven it will obviously be too big um, for her now, but I'm going to put an extra lobster clasp on this end so that this end can, can dangle and she can hook it, uh, do like a double hook on it and it'll make it smaller till she's bigger. I'll show you. I'll show you at the end. Now I use these, um, binder clips to hold my chain and I Put a little white dot on it so that I know that that's the side that I'm working on. Um, I'm working on this side. That way things are not all over the place. So what else do I have? I also have uh, needle nose pliers, bent nose pliers. I have some jump rings. I'm going to use silver. This is going to obviously be a mixed metal piece. Uh, mixed metal is really hot right now. People love it. Um, I think it's classic that way. If in the future, she's like, you know, I'm a silver girl, this is going to be a silver gold combo. Um, and you know, she'll still be able to wear it. Um, what else will you need this, this here? Um, you'll need a hole punch possibly, possibly if you need that, I'll go into it. So what I like to do is I like to start with the piece that's going in the middle um, and then I will balance it out with two pieces on the end. So possibly this one, here's the issue. The issue is this is very big. Um, you know, hanging off of a normal wrist. I do not think I'm going to include this. I think it's too big. Uh, I'm going to hang on to it. So what else can I put in the middle? This heart would be cute. Oop, there's the heart. Uh, the little teddy bear would be cute. My mom loved this teddy bear. I'm thinking that I'm going to put the bear in the middle. I'm going to do a heart and a heart to get us started. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take out some of our jump rings. These are seven millimeters. And I don't know that I've ever showed you how to open a jump ring properly. Uh, there is a proper way. You've got an open end here. You never want to pull it that way. Oh, come on now, that's what I want you to look at. Right, right there. There we go. I don't ever want you to pull it away, the ends away from each other. I want you to pull them side to side. See that? That's the proper way to open a jump ring and then you will close it the same way. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the teddy bear. I'm going to put the hearts. Uh, and let's go over a couple more things that I'm going to do. So this is one earring, but look, there's two leaves on it. And they both have holes in them. 
which is convenient. So I will be taking these off of the earring back. I'll be throwing the earring back away and keeping the two leaves and then I'll put the two leaves on there. Um, these earrings are lovely, but I don't want the whole chandelier earring on there. So what I'll do is I'll take these little diamonds off. And I'm gonna use the little diamonds to decorate our piece. So let me go ahead and add some things on here and I'll be back. Okay, changed my mind about putting the hearts on these ends. I put the teddy bear in the middle and then I took apart a pair of the gold earrings. Can you focus please? There we go, a pair of the gold earrings. So now let's put on the silver earrings and I just want to just emphasize that if you only have one earring, that is perfectly fine. One earring becomes a charm. Um, I am doing this symmetrically because I do have a lot of pairs, but you 100% do not have to do this symmetrically. Um, you could just totally mix it up because that's what a charm bracelet is about. Okay. Uh, I also am not precise. I do not count like, you know, exactly where it is. I just am putting them um, in places evenly so that the charm bracelet is semi-balanced and not, uh, you know, heavy on, heavy on one side. So there's our one earring. Took the, um, took the ear wire off. So let's do another one. Remember your jump ring, you want to do side to side. Not out. We're going to put the jump ring, whoa, jump ring through the hoop that's already there. That's the hoop that the ear wire was attached to. And then we're just going to put it on our, on our charm bracelet. And you always want to make sure there's no gap between your closing of your jump ring. Otherwise, your charms are going to just come right off at some point. Okay. So, lay it back down. Oops, make sure that everybody's the way they supposed to be. So now, look at this. I've got some gold, some silver, some black. It's looking cute. Uh, what do we want to do next? What do we want to do next? Uh, I have enough here probably to do two charm bracelets, but uh, sadly, my mom had three grandsons, one granddaughter. Um, so the grandsons are not interested. Uh, all right. The little cart is cute. I don't feel like I'm going to put both of the little carts on there. I think I'm going to do one uh, of the carts. And this already has a hole. Sorry, the light's kind of weird. It's late afternoon. I'm hoping you can see this because I don't want to have to not post this video. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so we're going to put this uh, little cart in here. I think I'm going to do it out here toward the end. Okay. Now to even it out, let's put something out here toward this side. Let's go with this red charm. This is fun. Uh, it's got all kinds of stuff here on the end. I'm going to take all of this stuff off of here. I don't need all that. It's going to hang real low if I leave it on there. And it, the less, the less, um, the less we have, the more stable it's going to be. So this one also has a hole. So I'm going to just thread that through. And I'm going to put that on the end. I'm gonna make sure our ends line up. Okay. 
cute. Now, what do we want to put on there? I feel like we can put the sewing machine on. All right, let me put a few more charms on. Anything interesting comes up, I'll, I'll come back to you. You know, I was going to put this on, but then I wanted to show you this. This is actually a, a brooch, and it has a pin on the back of it. See that? I don't want to leave that on there, so I'm going to take a pair of wire cutters and I'm just going to, I'm going to snip it off, attach it. Whoa. So now I have a flat back on it and, and the pin. Okay. Now this one doesn't have any holes, but it does have plenty of places that I can stick the jump ring. So let me open my jump ring and I'm going to put it through one of the wheels. See how nicely that'll hang right there? And let's put it right here in the middle. And close it. Okay. It's looking really nice. Uh, let's take apart the leaf earring. I'm lying. Let's not do the leaf earring. Let's do this heart, the heart earring. And I don't want, I don't want any of this. I only want the heart charm. So I'm just going to take, oh, this is the open side. I'm going to take, bend that around. Now I only have the, the heart. Get my jump ring. Open it. And I I placed my last one here, so I'm gonna put one um oh, that's wrong. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle of these two. And I I just I'm not necessary I just would like it to be balanced, you know. I gotta think about symmetry. Uh and I feel like the piece looks better when you're paying attention to the symmetry. So we're getting there. I like my charm bracelets chock full. So I think I'm going to put some stuff right here, uh, next in the, right next to the teddy bear. Uh, what do we want? Okay, I like this fish. He's cute. And a leaf. Let's do that. And the fish is also a pin. He's probably going to come. This is old glue. This old glue. Yep. Old glue comes off super easy. Um, I do have a little, I'm going to take my sander. You see the back of that? It's got some gunk. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm just going to do a little bit of that. So it's, it's smooth now. Okay. So we'll put him there. Um, we'll put him there. You know, I'm not a fan of the silver next to the silver. So maybe not that one. Let's do something gold. Let me show you what I do. This is another pin. Not sure how the back comes off. Huh. All right. I don't think we can use that. Let's set it aside. I'm going to have to look at it. Um, oh, a pair of scissors. Let's do that. My mom was a quilter. Let's take the back off. Now, look, I have this little sticky uppy thing here. Let's take that off. And I'm just going to run my finger. Oh, it's actually is actually a smooth right there uh, but I am going to take my file yeah I don't want it to sticker don't want it to sticker so we're going to put the scissors on there Scissors. Okay, scissors. Okay. 
fish. Still recording? Yeah, my God, it's still recording. Hmm, not complete failure. All right, let's put this in here. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. She's starting to fill up a little bit. Uh, let's, I'm going to put some of these other charms on here that, um, that I don't need to alter. I'm going to throw some of those on here and then I'll come back and show you what I did. That's it. We're all done. I went from all those charms that I had. That's all I've got left. But here is her finished charm bracelet. It is stuffed full of beautiful charms. Some that used to be earrings. Some that used to be pins and brooches. Some that were charms. Some that were broken. But it doesn't matter. Because look at them collectively. They make a really beautiful sound together. And it's a really nice keepsake for my niece to have. So uh, I will follow this up with some pictures. I'm going to take pictures of it uh, in my photo box so you can see it. And um, I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, please don't hesitate to ask me questions in the comments because I do uh, answer questions. Um, if I miss something, like how, if you just have, how did you do this or how did you do that, ask me and I can just do a short video on it. Um, I don't mind. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to put the finished product pictures after this and, uh, I'll see you guys next time.